The coming financial year is expected to see a planned expenditure of 5.6 trillion shillings on Uganda's integrated transport infrastructure or public works. So 45 trillion has gone to the works and transport sector over the last 12 years since the sector was restructured. But um, we haven't seen the really um, increase in terms of, I mean, the value for money in terms of this, uh, these allocations. Speaking during the presentation of the budget framework paper for the coming financial year last week, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija defended the huge expenditures directed towards integrated transport infrastructure, promising more efficiency in utilization of the resources. Enhancement of institutional and human resource capacities for improving tax transparency by publishing tax expenditures regularly and implementing FOI and implementing action to combat tax motivated illicit uh, financial fraud and tax avoidance. However, the civil society budget advocacy group says that in view of the various case studies of staggering infrastructure projects, there is need for implementation audit on some areas of the public works expenditures. Is you to decide to acquire a loan knowing very well that you are not ready to start executing the job. That's the kind of accountability we need. You go to, four years ago, we signed a contract for MPG Busega Express Highway. To date, they tell you only 5% of the work has been done. Beyond implementation nightmares, sector observers are also voting for a more deliberate low-costing framework on infrastructure. We want to do Kampala and PG Road, and our minimum, the reserve price, is $50 million, so that pl players or contractors can come and bid within that, that range. Other than leaving it and you say it is international bidding, um, uh, bid arrangement, and um, someone comes and quotes $250 million, and you end up paying it. We have little money as a country, and we must be seen to be putting it to good use. Reina Ojan, NTV Business.